Hey, what's up, family? I know that you guys are noticing that I don't do as many videos giving techniques on how to astral project. Now, I use water as a metaphor more than often when it comes to the nature of consciousness because, in truth, that's how consciousness is. It is like water. Water cannot be destroyed. It can only transform. If I took a block of ice and put it out in the sun and left it out there for a day or two, if I went out there after a day or two, the block of ice will be gone. It would not only be melted, but it will be gone. But is it really gone? No, that's the illusion. It only transformed into mist, vapors, going into the atmosphere, and ultimately will come back down as where it had begun, as water, through the rain, and so on and so forth. Water cannot be destroyed. Our consciousness is like water. Our physical body is mostly comprised of water. So, for many of us, our consciousness is frozen. It is frozen. Ice is basically water slowed down to such a state of vibration that it becomes fixed in one place. Now, the illusion is the ice is in a different form and it's solid, just like our physical body. We, the physical body is the same way. It is really fluid, but it's slowed down and it's on a molecular level that gives the illusion of solidity. That block of ice is solid, it's hard, it has weight and heaviness, but when you speed up the vibration of that ice, hence melting it, it becomes fluid like water again. So many of us are in what I call ice consciousness. When I talk about raising the vibrations, the goal is to speed up that consciousness to the point in melting it so that you can broadcast beyond this slow, frozen, ice cold, negative vibrational realm and better able to see all of what is around and before you. There are people who will quickly say, well, if I can't touch, feel, and see it, uh, it doesn't exist. Why? Because they are frozen in consciousness. They cannot see beyond that block of ice that they are in. Furthermore, those who say, well, uh, if, uh, if there's no life after death, same thing. These people are frozen in consciousness and from their perspective they cannot see or broadcast beyond where they are so to them it doesn't exist so they're going based on what they see and what they believe are they are they wrong in what they're saying no because that is their truth that is where they are now the fluidity of consciousness is our natural state it is when you are one with all of creation you are one with the omniverse. Now, I want you guys to really stop and think about your fears, your insecurities, your self-doubt, your pain. Think about the root of it. And I will tell you the common thread every single time.
many times I get uh, um, really caught up when I see people uh, getting into discussions about, oh, the reason why things are bad is because of uh, white people, or it's because of the black people, oh, it's the gays, oh, it's the this, it's the that. Let me tell you, it is none of that is states of consciousness. People who were probably, more than likely, frozen in consciousness somewhere in their life, and that is where they are, and from their perspective, their truth, they are bringing about, trying to make the world reflect, or they are inadvertently creating a world that's reflecting how they are and where they are, and many of us who are sensitive to that are receiving that and are in directly co-creating this with them. These people who are usually in this state of consciousness are very cold-blooded. Hence, we hear this all the time. Cold-hearted, cold-blooded snake. You know, cold, a cold world. This world, figuratively and literally, is cold because we have so many forces, so many beings who are one with this consciousness, who are so aggressive in making sure that the world becomes the way they see it. And we have to have the wherewithal to recognize it and not let it slow us down, vibrationally, figuratively, and literally. apply these tips that I give you, you will transform your mind. You will speed your vibration of your thought process and speed up the molecular structure of your physical body. And when this happens, there will really be no need for you to really run out and go out of your way to learn a technique on how to astral travel and how to contact a loved one mentally and all those things because when you become one and fluid with the nature of your true selves, it will just fall into place. You will just know. You will just know. But as always, guys, I love you beyond measure. You are loved beyond measure. And really, you are loved beyond measure. That's it, everybody. And as always, happy travel.